Hello everybody, my name is Matt and this is Real World Review. Today I will be showing you how to replace a screen on a Samsung Note 8. What you will need is a PH000 or JIS000 driver, a flat blade of some sort, a playing card, and heat. For the record, this video will not show you how to change the screen itself, but rather the screen and the frame together. Also, I already made a video showing how to remove the back panel, so we will skip through this. If you want to see that video, the link will be in the description. Once we take the back off, you'll want to remove the adhesive, but we will get to that later. Replacing the adhesive is my recommendation, but it isn't required. While you're at it, you'll want to remove the adhesive from the phone as well. Next, we will grab a screwdriver and start removing these 16 screws holding the back together. Once those are out, you can remove the plastic panels. I recommend prying with a plastic tool near the fingerprint scanner plug. Just make sure not to damage anything. Next, you will do the same thing with the speaker panel on the bottom. Remember to unplug the battery, and while we're at it, remove the SIM card tray and the S Pen. Next, we will start unplugging the cables, like the power button, front camera, and iris scanner. Next, we will unplug the light sensors, display cable, and the S Pen receiver cable. We will also have to unplug the headset jack and remove all four screws around it. Next we will use a plastic spudger to remove the headset jack and then move up to the top where we have to unscrew the last screw that is holding in the logic board. Now carefully you want to lift out the logic board and charging port assembly. I recommend starting at the bottom, but you can start where you're comfortable. Just make sure to be careful with the microphone cable on the bottom. Next we will compare the parts that need to be transferred to the new screen. In most cases you will need to remove the battery, vibrating mechanism, and light sensor panel. I recommend using a small flathead driver or dental pick to remove the vibrating mechanism. Then I recommend using a plastic tool to remove the light sensor panel. Just be careful. Next you have to pry out the battery. I recommend using a plastic tool, but remember not to puncture the battery if you use something metal. It is not easy to remove and takes time, so be patient and it will eventually come out. Next we will quickly remove these covers on the new screen and prep the phone for the logic board. All you need to do is put the light sensor and the vibrating mechanism in place. I recommend taking the adhesive off of the battery and adding some new adhesive. This will make the battery easier to remove if you ever have to do it again. Once these pieces are in, you can place the logic board into the phone and screw in the logic board screw. Also make sure that every piece is tucked in like it was when you started removing the board. This is crucial or else parts won't line up properly. Next we can start plugging in all the pieces, like the display cable, S Pen receiver cable, power button, light sensor, front camera, and iris scanner. Now we will put the bottom screws in along with the headset jack. Next we will test the phone, but remember that the plastic panels have to be placed onto the back of the phone or else the battery will say that it is too warm or too cold. This also applies for the S8, S8 Plus, and I would assume the S9 models. So let's put on those panels and those screws, starting with the bottom panel. Like I said earlier, we need to remove the adhesive and add some new adhesive to this case. I will show you briefly how I get started and then continue on with this video.
Now we will have to cut new adhesive to fit onto the phone. Do this however you like, but this is how I do it. Next we will plug in the fingerprint scanner, and yes, this is a clip from my other video. Once it is plugged in properly, you can set the back down and push down to make sure that the adhesive sticks to the back. And that's it. Just remember to put the S Pen and the SIM card back into the phone. I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below or on Twitter at Matt of RWR. And feel free to follow me on the social media listed above. Also make sure to subscribe for more how-to and review videos. Thanks for watching.